Welcome to Jungit's Games. Today I'll be playing a full two-player game of Hellas with Anastasia here in the studio. Now I will start it by teaching you how to play the game so that you understand what's going on while we're playing it, and at the end we talk a decent bit about how the overall play went. Now this is a first for the channel, I've never actually put out a full playthrough like this using physical components, so that's pretty exciting. Now I do want to ask that if you enjoy this video, that you please then click the like button for it down below as well as the subscribe button for the channel. On top of that, if you'd like to directly support the channel and the creation of videos just like this one in the future, then please go to patreon.com slash Games. There's a bunch of perks that you can gain access to by supporting the channel, including listening to my exclusive opinions episodes where I go in-depth about all of the games that I'm playing recently. You can also watch some videos early and advertisement-free, like this one right here. The last thing I'd like to ask is if while you're watching this game you see a turn where you really feel like one of us should have done something differently, uh, maybe you saw us cheat, or maybe just some part of this game really jumps out to you, then please comment about it down below because I'd love to see that kind of feedback. All right, let's now jump into the game. Okay, John, today we're going to play Hellas. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so just for everybody's context, Anastasia and I have actually played Hellas a couple of times already, yeah. but we've never played in person. As you can see, this is a shrink-wrapped copy of the game. Uh, you got this game, and then we're so excited about it that we ended up playing it on Tabletop Simulator a couple of times. Yeah. I really like it, and uh, we thought it'd be fun to play it on camera, and we also thought it'd be fun to just unbox it on camera. Yeah, this um, is our first experience with it. We don't even know what the pieces are going to be like. <laughs> we'll do a fast forward, and then uh, I'll teach everybody how to play the game, and then we'll see who's better at it. Yeah, John is unable to open. So first thing we've learned about each other today, this is our first time unboxing a game together ever. Oh my God. And John is unable to open shrink wrap. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This is what it's like to be at a table with us. All right. Here we go. All right. Yeah, so I bought this game. This game is only available in, it didn't get a US print run, so it's only available in, uh, in, in Europe. And I actually bought it because I was trying to get a copy of Messina and the shipping was so much. So I had to put this on, I knew nothing about it, and uh, we've become quite taken with it. So, all right, here we go. I wonder if people have like a way of punching. Do they like do this and like a. I mean, I definitely have a way that I punch. How do you punch, John? Tell me how you punch. I tend to do this. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the most. <laughs> I hope we don't end up actually fast forwarding through this so that everyone could experience that moment. Okay. Cool. Uh, awesome. Okay, so we've uh, magically set it up. Yes. <laughs> We're just about ready to go, um, uh, just about ready to teach. Realistically, the only other things we need for setup is we both start with 10 marble, which is the only resource in the game. Uh, every disc is worth 5 marble, and the cubes are worth 1, so we could just take 5 of these and 1 of those. And marble is a hidden thing. We have these little dividers so that we don't see what each other has. Of course, people up there can see exactly how much marble we have, but <laughs> we won't be able to see each other's. Uh, we also have these three quarries out here. I put them on random quarry locations on the perimeter so we can flip them up. And now let's talk about how we play the game. Uh, so in this game, you are always going to have 12 action tokens. In a two-player game, we split it up to six and six. In a three-player game, it would be four, four, and four. On your turn, you simply take one of these action tokens and you place it down onto any one of these 13 up at the top of the board. Uh, once you place it down, you as the active player do what it says, and then usually everyone else will also gain some sort of benefit. Uh, the most bare bones of the actions are these three right over here. These are really quite simple. Uh, you have to spend one marble to place a house down onto the coast of the island, or you could spend two marble to place it down onto the green parts in the middle, and you could put it anywhere as long as there's nothing on that spot already, and as long as it is not a temple or a quarry spot. Um, so if I put this right here, that would cost me two marble. But the thing about these five is as soon as you make that decision in clockwise order around the table, everyone else now also has the option of doing that. Obviously, it's just me and Anastasia, but after placing that there, Anastasia, on my turn, could do this action for the same price and everything. 
the only benefit I got is I was able to make it happen and I got to place first. Uh, when you put these down, it doesn't have to be adjacent to your other buildings, but it probably makes sense too. Uh, the next uh, thing that you can build is this spot. Now, that one right there shows a slash, and this lets you construct one of these, and you can also build a square. Literally called a square. Yes, okay. it's a square, <laughs> <laughs> and you don't put anything on it, strangely enough. Uh, this is a uh, very straightforward piece, as you can see, whereas these houses are a little more detailed, although you can't really see that I in the big this, camera. This makes a little more sense now in person because, like, you're making, like, a town square. Yeah. On, online, I thought these were, like, more, like, bases to something, but no. So when you place these out, the cost is the same. One marble for the coast and two marble for the interior. And this action, again, lets you place a house, a square, or both. And again, it's it matches the same placement uh, requirements. You could put it anywhere as long as it's empty and it doesn't have something on it on the board. Uh, lastly, for the building of our own pieces anyway, there is this spot that lets you build a temple. Now, this has a much higher cost. It costs five marble to build it onto the coast, and it costs seven marble to build it into the middle. Each player only has three of these temples, and it has the same placement rules. You just have to be able to afford that marble in order to put it down onto the board. Now, you're probably wondering why we want to put these down, and that's because of victory points at the end of the game, and I'll talk about that soon. Um, the next thing to talk about are the quarry activator spots. Whenever you go onto any of these, you are going to activate all quarries on the table. As you see, there are three of these quarries on the table at the start of the game, and in fact, there will always be three quarries face up on the table. Each one of these has two important attributes. They have a number, and they also have a number of marble cubes stacked. Now, that is the number of marble that every house that's out here adjacent to that quarry is going to gain. So if this was, it was right over there, I think, um, and this house was next to it, and if somebody did a quarry action, then this house will generate three marble. If I had another house there, then I would get three and then three more. And of course, if Anastasia was also next to it, now I would get six total and Anastasia would get three. Uh, we activate all three of the quarries that are out there. And again, only the houses get the marble. The squares and the temples do not generate marble for you. Instead, they give you victory points and that is how you win the game. Um, so the next thing that happens in the quarry is the person who activated it is going to draw new quarry tiles. <laughs> so I just realized we didn't have our quarry worker out on the board. This is part of setup, and they go onto a random unoccupied quarry field. We'll just say they go here. Sure. <laughs> now uh, the active player is going to draw quarry tiles and reveal them, and every quarry tile has a number going from 1 to 40. Now, um, I'll just reveal this one. We can shuffle these up later. As you can see, this is a 16. And what this means is if I was the active player, I would have to place this down so that it went on top of a quarry that has a lower number than it. Uh, in this case, this 12 is lower than 16. So I would put this 16 on top of the 12. And the higher the number is, the less marble it gives. In this case, that's still three marble to three marble. But if I was to put uh, this 32 from the stack down on top of there, it would go from three marble down to one, which is uh, pretty devastating if you have a big infrastructure over there. Now, you're going to draw up to four of these, and as you continue to draw, you're going to place bigger numbers on top of smaller numbers until you either draw four or you draw a tile that is lower in number than all of the active quarries. If that happens, uh, let's say just for the case of example, this was a 16 and we drew a 12, then in this case, you put that tile down where the quarry worker is, and then you place the quarry worker onto a new empty quarry spot, and you then have to close one of the quarries because there can only ever be three of them open. You have to choose the highest value quarry to flip, so in this case that would be the 32. You flip it over, and now that quarry is dead for the rest of the game, and these are our three active quarries. Uh, now that's like the most important part of this game, and yeah. it's really where things get uh, mean and fun and interesting. And probably the most unique and cool part of the game, too, yeah. right? Like this open quarry, quarries depleting kind of mechanic. Yeah, Super activating cool. stuff, giving each yeah. other things, and then messing each other's infrastructure up. Yeah. Um, so now let's talk about victory points, and specifically the actions that give victory points. Um, each one of these lets you spend a certain number of marble, either four, six, or ten, and then you can place two, three, or four pillars down onto the board. Uh, these pillars look just like that. They're pretty small. <laughs> and they go onto the empty pillar spots in these temples. You can put it into any of the temples. And these are going to modify the end game scoring for people's buildings around them. And I'll talk about that super soon. Uh, but also, if by placing these pillars down, you fill all of the empty spots in at one of these temples, 
Now, every time you do one of these actions, you are going to gain one of these rings. And if you fill all of the empty spots in one temple, you get another ring. And these are also worth points at the end of the game. I promise I'll talk about those points soon uh, because the next thing we want to talk about is the statue action. This one's really simple. You spend seven marble and then you place a statue out onto an empty spot on the board. The final action of the game is this one, which simply gives you three marble. You put it in front of you and then that finishes your turn. Um, now, at this point, let's actually talk about points. Uh, once the game is over, well, actually, how, how does the game structure work? We're going to play all of these 12 actions uh, going back and forth until they're all out. Then that will finish the first round of the game. Uh, at that point, we will then reset, pull all these tokens back, and we'll do it again. And we're going to go through three rounds. After three rounds, we're going to go into final scoring, and this is where we get literally all of our points. Uh, the first thing that we're going to gain points for are our cities. Now, a city is going to be a collection of adjacent pieces out on the board that has a temple. And this is why temples matter. They're expensive because they make these tokens score. Uh, this right over here is not a city. It's just a collection of little houses. That's a village. Villages are worth zero points at the end of the game. Uh, once you put a temple down, however, that and all of the connected pieces becomes a city. And then each player counts the number of tokens in their largest city, and they get one point for each of those. So it's good to have a mega city instead of lots of scattered ones. And you'll probably see us trying to consolidate our pieces in order to do that. Um, also, every city is worth one point for every pillar token on temples that are adjacent. So that means this one pillar is giving one point to the city. And of course, if Anastasia had a city over here touching that, then that pillar would also give Anastasia one point. These statues increase a city's score adjacent to them by three points. So you simply want to put these down next to your cities, maybe even multiple of your cities to score it uh, multiple times. And of course, you don't want to put these next to your opponents if it's at all possible. Uh, the rings at the end of the game are worth two points each, and the player who has the most rings gets three extra points, which can certainly be significant. And then finally, uh, we count up our marble at the end of the game. Every five marble that we have is worth one point. So as you can see, we're trying to build these things out. And this is part of the reason why the square is important, because it counts as part of a city, again, as long as there is a temple, and it lets you reach out to various places quickly, get access to these temples, and uh, try to get the most points. Um, I guess there's just one other little rule I didn't talk about, and that's this space here. Now, in the first and second round, the first player to activate any of these three will take their token and then put it next to that. Now, that simply means that player will be the starting player in the next round of the game. In the third round, you don't do this because, obviously, that's the final round. And that is essentially all of the rules to the game. Hopefully that wasn't too long-winded, um, but if I forgot anything, I'm sure we will, uh, we'll, we'll correct it while we're actually playing. We have yeah, to figure out who's going first. What is the uh, what is the first player? What's the what's what's the edict from the rule book? Let me check. <laughs> the rule book says choose a starting player. Great. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll spin this ring around, and whoever that purple is pointing more towards goes first. Love it. Hey, it's very much me. Okay. All right, John's going first. So yeah, this is a game, man. This uh, I'm really, I'm really excited to see what people think of this one because we have had a lot of fun. Just like it, this is like your classic, old school, dry year out. Like, yeah, even though it came out in 2017, I think. Yeah, it's it feels a lot older than it is. Um, but I can, you know, it's just it's but this action selection mechanism like this with the follow actions. We were just talking the other day about. I don't know which game, when we were talking about Boon Lake, we were That's talking right. about Euros that have action selection follow mechanisms that are actually integrated in the game. And I think this is a really cool example of that. It's also the third, we're kind of doing this backwards, this is the third Stefan Dora game that we've played. This is the designer of this game. But yeah, we yeah. We played this one first. Yes, we played this one before, but then we recorded full playthroughs of Valletta and Milestones, although those are Patreon-exclusive videos because they were experiments, and there were definitely problems with them. Uh, I think they're still pretty entertaining, but they were not quite good enough to go onto the main channel. Um, but those are accessible if you are a Patreon uh, supporter of the channel. Yeah. Um, so, I go first. And I think... I mean, part of me feels like going here, right out of the gate, and doing a uh, square build as well as a village. Um, I think I'm just going to do that. All right, so we're going to go here. Uh, that means I can build a square and or one of the villages. And I think I like this idea. Uh, it's building on the coast, so each of those is just one marble. And I like it because that's three marble. 
and it gets me next to this temple immediately, and it was cheap. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> now you can do I can the do same the exact thing. same thing. So I will do the same thing. I'm also going to spend three marble, and then I'm sort of tempted to just copy you and just stay in the same area. It's not a bad idea. It is super interesting, though, that squares do not, as you mentioned, do not produce. So it doesn't help me to put them right here like right. you did. That's why I put this here next to a temple, which hypothetically will get pillars by the end of the game. I'm assuming this becomes a city. I'm, I'm making a lot of assumptions. Realistically, it was just cheap. Yeah, so <laughs> I spent three marble. John only had to spend two. I'm going to spend three. So that means you're going to build into the forest? Well, I'm going to do my house here uh -huh. and my square here. Okay. Yeah, so. that makes sense. We're gonna we're gonna see how that works. Out. <laughs> that is a lot more spaces for pillars. <laughs> um, all right, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Do you want to go to the quarry? Give us some marble. You would like me to do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> that would definitely help you. I think I'm gonna double down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go here. Spend two more marble, and I'm gonna take this last spot. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I was a little worried you would do that. Okay. Um, so I could still make it over there if I worked really hard, but that just made this a lot harder. Also, that quarry is way more better for you now. Would you like to go uh, give us some marble? Would you like to go to the quarry, John? It's right here, three spots. It is right No there. one's gone yet. You could be first. I think, well, first of all, I'm, I'm doing the follow action in your yes. turn. Yes, yes. I'm going to spend one marble, and I will go over here. Just trying to take those cheap coastal spots. Um, it's very interesting that these are not, these are all the same color. I mean, obviously, you know, we've played this before, but I just sort of, it's like, you do have to be a little bit more aware of like, okay, yes, you're doing the follow now. The active player, yeah. yeah. It's a little easier in a two-player game, I suppose. Yeah. All right. So, now I need to think. Quarry, quarry, quarry. <laughs> it's really not good for you. Although you could plummet that mine. So... Our marbles are hidden, <laughs> but I do know we both start with 10 marbles, and I can see that Anastasia has spent five of them, and so I was really contemplating going here to the temple, knowing that you are somewhat short-stacked mm. on those, but five does still let you build on this a coast. Is like John, this is like your favorite action. John, <laughs> if John had like, how does John play Hellas? It is, it is to... Deny people their deny temples. Pe not people, Anastasia. <laughs> Let's just be clear. True. <laughs> deny Anastasia. Yeah. The problem temples. is that, I mean, that'd be a, a no-brainer for me, except I know you have five marble because mm -hmm. I can count up to this point. I have five. Do you want to see it? Just so you know. I have plenty. Go and ahead. that means you could build right there. So it wouldn't be like a huge blockage. Mm -hmm. Huh. I am tempted to do the, the quarry. Um, I mean, you would be getting six marble. I'd be getting five. And then I could squash this thing into oblivion. Mm -hmm. Hypothetically? Hypothetically, yes. Hypothetically. That was such a good move. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen that coming. I'm also just thinking about putting a house over there, just continuing to use cheap. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I am going to do another house build, and I will do that. I could also do this to start working towards... This is the next quarry, so working towards it is not bad. And that would actually increase my payout as well. Yeah... I think I've changed my mind. That's what I'll do. So I'm going to spend two marble. Okay. I will spend one, and that will go here. Okay. All right. I'm going to quarry. Yeah, if you didn't, then uh, yeah. you know what my next action would be. <laughs> I'm going to quarry. So that means I immediately get six. Yeah, three plus three. Six marble, and John actually gets even more. more. Yeah, I get six plus two plus two, so I get uh, three plus two plus two. I get seven. It's funny, I made that move very quickly, but it probably would have been advantageous to place here for a little more marble. But I got a plan here. I got a plan. Okay, so the first thing that we do is flip over a new quarry. So 25. Yeah, this one is a two marble quarry. So that get, I get to choose. That just has to go on any other quarry that is lower. lower. So, so the 12 or the 22. Yeah, so it's going to be the 22. It doesn't really change it, but, you know, we're going to keep going. All, All right. right. Next is 19. 
Which uh, is actually just going to go on top of the 12. Yep. And it's so, still three marble, so it didn't affect that. Yep. Two more draws. Next is 18, which, as it turns out, is lower yep. than All anything of them. else. So that's going to go here, which is actually great for John. And then I'm going to put this guy over here. That makes sense. And then we are going to close this 32 yep. over here. And now we've depleted... A, I don't know who is mining the quarry over there, but uh, we've depleted it, so. <laughs> awesome. That's it. All right, I am certainly going to do the last build. And, I mean, it's going to be here or here. Yeah. <laughs> I think that is slightly better. It's hard to say. I'm going to go with that. So that is going to cost me, did I pay for that? No. Yeah, I did not pay for that yet. <laughs> awesome. All right, I'm going to also build... And I'm going to go here. That makes sense. Okay. Back at you. Very curious now what I want to do. Do I quarry again? I'm, I have plenty of plenty of, of stuff for the palace. So it's, hmm. I don't really want or you. Or is it pillar time? I don't really want you to control the quarrying because I'm making so much, so much marble. I think we did mention this. Marble, marble is worth how much at the end of the game? Uh, five marble is one point. Five to one. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, kinda, I'm gonna play this out. I'm gonna force you to maybe do the palace action. I'm gonna quarry again. Interesting. So, uh, let's see. That's nine for me. Yep, three, 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 and then I get three and three plus two plus two, so ten. Yeah. So it actually continues to be beneficial for John. But. but... <laughs> it's interesting. Last time we played two players, I did most of the quarrying, and. Uh, and now you're now you're doing most of it, and I'm 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 terrified. So there we go, a thirty six. It's only <laughs> it's got one marble. So um, can I come over here and squash John's little? So surprised, and that is thing. why I was terrified. Let's see what happens over here. Nine. Nine. Yep. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Ooh, that's a four too. That yeah. is real great. And this is why being in control of quarrying actions is huge, because I could have put that thirty six on the nineteen, and yeah. instead, uh, that's gonna close. Yeah. That went from making me for oh, marble. Oh, no, it's going to close. It I closes entirely. Because at 36, remember, these yep. only go up to 40. Yep. So that's one of the highest values. So that was a very, that's a great example of why it's good to be the person to quarry. Because that was Even pretty Even though you, had, you got more marble than me. That's what, I love the tug of that. Yeah. Um, okay, so now I have to decide where to put this. First, I'm going to put it here because it's in between my two stuff. But it's awfully fairly close to you. I'm also sort of it's tempted to, like, throw it over here or something, like, to make it harder. Yeah. But you're right, it's not that close. So I guess I will go ahead and I'm going to throw it down here. And uh, a little beneficial for everyone. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> we're both playing chicken with the temple action now. Yeah, I know. Hmm. I'll wait for you. Well, we I... don't, you know, I've learned from playing this game with you. I don't need three temples. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I like rings. I'll actually go over here. Hmm. That means I'll be the starting player in the next round. That is going to cost me 10 of my ample marble. And then I can put five pillars down. One, two, three, four. That's too many. There we go. And I will go one, two. I haven't used these in real life before. They're very tippy. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of cute, though. They are. They are. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Uh, I get a ring just for doing the action. And then because I completely fill a temple... I get a bonus ring. All right. Okay. Wow. I'm, like, very tempted to quarry again. <laughs> well, the thing is, you can't really hurt me anymore. Like, that was the big yeah. devastating play. If you, if you quarry now, you might, you're probably just going to hurt yourself. Like, we're equally vested here, and uh, it's all That's it's mostly you over there. You're... That's true. I am just making so much marble. But you know what? I think let's see, we have a number of actions left. Yeah. Yeah, there's 13 action options and 12 tokens. Uh, I didn't actually mention this, but in the last round of the game, we all get one fewer action marker. So uh, we have six actions in the first two rounds and then only five actions each in the third and final round of the game. Yeah, it's really curious because the, the way these work and the temples, because we all benefit from the temples, but like my choice right now, if you could be in my mind, picking which of these to do and which temple to put on. You can't but, complete a temple. I can't, but I don't want to set you up to complete one either, right? right? Because right. then I'm just basically making a great move for you. So I, I think I am going to do this. I am also rolling in marble. Um, so I'm going to spend six 
make a ring. Okay. Um, three pillars. I'm going to do three pillars. Okay, so that was John's pillar that I'm just picking up for no reason. All right, three pillars. <laughs> just, <laughs> yes, this is an action we didn't explain where you can remove pillars. Just kidding. Uh, there's no removing. Yeah, that's good. You're not setting me up. I'm right? not setting you it up still needs here. five. Oh, no, I mean, but not for this round anyway. Not for this round. But if I put three here, then it would really set you up, so. That is true, yeah. So, all right. Okay, um, I think. <laughs> feel free to build temples. I uh I'm I'm honestly tempted to to take the three free marble, but I think at this point I need to get on the offensive with quarries. Cause that was bad and this is so good for you. And I would love to draw like a 40 look at you talk and me slap out. it right uh, look there. Look at you talk me out of quarry. Look at the psychological <laughs> assault that's happening here. He was like, Don't quarry. It's not that good for you. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> do not trust anyone in this game. I guess it was maybe good for you in the defense, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. Uh -huh. Either way, uh, I am only making six marble. Yeah. And you're making a lot. <laughs> Three, six, nine, twelve. Actually, that's thirteen. Yeah, because it's four. So thirteen. Yeah, marble. which is you know a lot more than than I made, which is yeah. great. But now I'm hoping for some devastating huge numbers. Four. Uh that did not pan out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I'm um I have to put it here. Obviously, that's it. And, and that's no it. More. I don't draw any more. Uh, but it does, you know what? It does, it does close that. That is true. Wow, that is true. that is a low number A 19 close. being closed. Wow. That is true. All right. Uh, I think I'll put this here. Um, and then, yeah, the 19 closes. That is surprising. But there it is. Um, back to you. Okay. Temple time? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm sort of temp tempted to not have any temples in this game. But <laughs> it's very interesting not knowing how much marble you have. I've also played this game a little bit on uh, Yukata or Yakuda, however you say it. I call it Yakuda, so I'm just going to call it what I call it. Yeah. Um, I've also played this game a little bit on Yakuda, and um, you you have... You have open information. It tells you how much marble you've Yeah. Because technically it's trackable. Like you it can, is. Like I you can, can sit count here it. and if count it when I'm not going to count it. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> the game comes with covers. So the idea is that you're not supposed to be doing that. Exactly. Obviously, you can do that in like the first two turns of the game or so. But once quarrying happens. Yeah. So it's interesting choice here because I don't know how much marble you have. I'm not, I sort of now want to temple some more. Um, but I mean, no, not temple. Uh, Pillars. Pillars. Some yeah. More. Man, it does feel weird to let this go. I mean, the way I see it, I if I don't do the temple, then it'll be up to you whether we both get a temple or not in this first round of the game. Right. Which we, we've never had, we've never played this where no one got a temple, but uh, I might put that decision on you. It kind of depends on what you do. Well, given we have played it where one of us didn't get one, of that the is other true. Did. That is true. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep pillaring. Okay. Over here. No, it's a ring. It matches my ring. So. It's another ring. This may backfire on me. <laughs> may backfire. Hey, John. What are you going to do? I'm taking three marble. Great. Yep. So, do we temple or do we not? I'm building a statue. <laughs> Interesting. Cool. All right. Well, uh, we're not all going to build three temples this game. I think. Let me hold that thought for just a second. Do I want to do that? Is that the best, best use of my assets? Interesting, interesting choices to be had here. Okay, so I, I, I did say I was going to do that, and that is... <laughs> and you immediately got cold feet. I immediately got cold feet, just because... there's a, There is, like, a game of chicken going on here. You get to go first, yep. and so that is, like creating like i'm not sure what you're going to do i'm trying to kind of shut you out in different directions sure yeah um i know you have less marble than i do yes um but i don't know by how much but i think we both have oodles that's what you're saying and i trust <laughs> absolutely nothing that comes out of your mouth um so it's interesting but it's also like i don't know it's a little dangerous for me as opposed to building a temple right now uh, sorry a palace right now is less marble and does create for some other interesting choices can't believe you put this on me <laughs> put this on me and now i have a choice to make and i need to make that choice 
It's also curious. I have to pick one, right? So yeah. it's like it's interesting. I can choose not to do it. I can actually just go here. I didn't say, mention that, but yeah, yeah. You, you you have to pick one. You can opt out of the action. I could just go there and not build the statue, which yeah. is. Do you really think that I'm going to get a bigger advantage from the palace action than you will? No, I don't. But. I don't necessarily need, like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm making your life easier here. Like Maybe. You know, but I'm just trying to decide if I want you to be poor now or later. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I take it back. Okay, so I'm going to take my marble back that I already paid, my excitement, all of that bluster and bravado. <laughs> palace time. I think I've called this a temple a few times. I apologize. These are palaces. Those are temples. <sighs> I'm going to do it. And I might regret it. Cheap palace, huh? Gonna go cheap palace. That's just begging me to cut that off. <laughs> it is begging you to cut it off. It is. It's one square. <laughs> yep, I'd like to see you try. Go ahead, cut it I off. I might. I don't know. We'll see. I'm certainly building. Okay. And it is... Huh. Yeah, I'll build the expensive one. Okay. I think that's gonna be... Well, better. We'll see. Well, <laughs> I'll probably regret it later on. Um, I think I'm just going to put them like this. It's a little bit more visible. I'll put that right over there. Okay. And that is the round. That's the first round out of three done. Uh, I'll get to go first in the next round, so we can just take our six tokens back. I think that's all. We really do have to read the board here. It's like, I can cut you off, but then I'm not. Very interesting. Okay. Just double checking. There's nothing. That's it. I'm going to move you back over here and you're up first. Cool. I was just making sure there wasn't any other end of round thing that I was being like, brained out about. It's kind of beautiful in this game. There's like no like maintenance. Like you're like, okay. Yeah, just jump right back in. Round two. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm certainly doing this. Great. Love and it. then I. Well, I'm also certainly doing some form of this or that. Just trying to figure out what the right call is. Mm -hmm. It's probably better for me to do this so that we are equally vested. If I do that, then you'll just quarry and then turn this into a 40. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think that probably makes more sense. Um, but then actually, if I do that, does this make sense? It doesn't actually, because I already connected to that. Um, so first of all, that's going to cost me two. Need to make sure I'm not cheating over here. And then, huh, maybe I actually do this to get that next to another one of these. Yep, that's what I'll do. That's only going to cost me one marble. And now it's over to you. All right. I am going to spend four. And I'm going to maroon you. Maroon. Maroon you off here. Yeah, I, I kind of figured, but I mean, this is going to pay for itself, was my thinking. It's next yeah. to a four you are, well, especially a lot less likely to actually kill it now since you have two to the one. Definitely. Um, and I'm making you work for it to wrap around. I think that, eh. No, I think it, I think, I think it makes sense. I think it's, it's interesting because I think it makes sense. There's, see, this is the thing about recording this is like, I can't tell you all of my machinations <laughs> because I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how you're going to take that information. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to see here how my bets are going to pay off if they are. If I'm going to put you in the position I want to put you in. Okay, John, let's, let's, mm, <laughs> Let's. Let's. Okay, John, let's palace again. Okie doke. Um, all right, this time I'm going to palace. Okay. Hmm. I'm certainly going to build a palace. That was a good place. I was definitely going to build there if you did not. And honestly, I'm just wondering if, you know, I could go there. Yeah. I guess it's not a terrible idea. It's just this isn't really doing anything for me. You only score one point per piece in your largest city. But of course, that would be next to this. It's going to be a lot harder to get over there. In fact, by you going there, oops, that's made it so that you could probably make it impossible for me to get actually over there. I think I still will do this, though. I don't love it. I think that was a really good play. But I think I will do that. We haven't really talked about this, but it is interesting. Like, by choosing the spot, you do get to go first, 
right? Yeah, so the tempo like, is hugely important. Yeah, and so the, like, like I said, I would have much rather have gone there because yeah. in a perfect world, you would have put this somewhere else, and then I would have gone here, and then on my next turn, I would have built there. Right. And then that right. would have been amazing, but obviously, that's not the world that we live in right now. Yeah. So it so it is very interesting how we kind of like can control this uh, more or less. Um, so that's my go. It is your go. What are you gonna do? Jeez, this is tough. I'm going back and forth between quarrying and building. If I build right now, you'll net four more marble on me, which isn't the end of the world. And then I could potentially crush this into oblivion, even though I'm next to it. The tempo of this follow is so interesting because, like, you effectively get double actions, right? Yeah. Like, I choose something, and then you go, and then you choose something, and then I go, and then I choose something, and boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And this is like the first half of my double action. I mean, that's it's only really like that in a two-player game, I suppose. Yeah. And I've heard some people say that they don't think this is a very good two-player game. I don't know. This is my, I guess, second time playing it. I guess we played yeah. two-player and then three-player. I thought it was great at two before, and I am definitely feeling. Time, yeah. yeah, I'm definitely feeling the tension of this yeah. two-player game. Yeah. Uh, the you flip this board over for a three or four-player game, and the map is just slightly bigger. Ugh, what should I do? No, I really like it, at too, because you, there's a lot more, like, I'm sitting here, like, I'm, like, on, you know, the edge of my seat. Like, what is he going to do? Because my plans, like, have I, like, lay, you know, like, I, it, it, it's like chess. Like, a great, yeah. you know, a lot of these great two-player, Euros that are played two-players, it's, it's back, it's subtle back and forth. It's what I, I love about them. I think, I think I've got to quarry. I'm really trying to talk myself out of it. I, I genuinely want to not quarry right now, but I think I'm going to. So I'm going to get three uh, plus four, so I get seven marble. And then I'm going to get uh, let's see, three nothing for over there. And then eight, eight so, so 11. eleven. Yeah, four more. And now we draw the tiles. The Twenty-six. Okay. So that can go on any mine. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I'll certainly go here. Yeah. Uh, if I draw a number lower than four, which is technically possible, yep. then that would close this. Yeah. But, uh, all right, so second draw, a three. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Wow. Spicy. All right. That is spicy. Well, this goes here. Um, this fine quarry worker is going to head over there. And then wow. this closes. Wow. wow. I mean, <laughs> These are such it low is random. Numbers. Yeah, this is like, oh, it's cool, though. Okay. It's fun. All okay. right, well, those are my draws. All right, well, great. Well, I really wanted you to do that. Yeah, so. I knew that you wanted me to. That's I did. why I didn't want to do it. I know. <laughs> but I felt like it left myself way too open to, uh, yeah, this was the safe course, and uh, there it is. Yeah, no, but uh, but it, it worked out. And that's so. exactly why. Yeah, because yeah. I knew that you would do that. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and what you didn't know is I didn't have enough marble to do it. I, so... I kind of figured you did. So just, I yeah, mean, yeah. We, we've moved past it now. Yeah. But on my last turn, I was really thinking about building, yeah. and I was specifically thinking about building here. Yeah. Because I knew the quarry was uh, the, it was somewhat likely, not crazy likely, but somewhat likely eventually that this would get filled in. Yeah. Um, but my worry is that you would then, on your turn, do another build action. Mm. In which case, I may or may not have had the funds <laughs> to do something. And yeah. so I, I figured it was better to do the safe course, even though I knew it would let you do this. So either yeah. way. And because, you know, knowing that, like, this could have gone up really high. Like, just the way these tiles are, like, this one could have eventually gone up. Like, you, do, you don't know. Like, it's, right. you know, sooner or later, that is probably going to open. That's I love how we have these three amazing quarries right, right in the there. middle. Yeah. And we're not, no, no one's really around It's them true, now. right? So it's like, We've yeah. equalized things a lot. Like, you've been getting more marble than me, but now, in this moment... We're yeah. equal, but that will shift drastically soon, I'm well, sure. Well, what's funny is I'm actually going to help you right here. Ah. So I'm sitting down three. So um, altruistic. I know. And so this actually benefits John at the moment, it anyway. It gives me three points for this city at the end of the game. But it does give me two rings. So right. It's, you well, know. One uh, plus the bonus for filling that in. Yes. So, yeah, you're up to four now, and I'm at two. And, again, the bonus for having the most rings is only three points. Yeah. But in our experience, the scores are usually around here, like in the, the winning scores, 50 to 60 points. And three points can uh, 
It's it's quite a lot at that, that yeah. kind of score. Okay. Well, now I have another decision to make. Oh, you're going to be starting player for the last round of the game as well. That was an advantage to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so I could go here, mm. and I could fill this in, and then get my own two rings. Mm -hmm. But then I am just helping you out so much. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, because this is scoring could. for I that knew, city, and this is scoring that for that city as well. This is, open. Yeah. I only just now realized how incredibly good this is for you. That's why I didn't care so much that you cut me off, right. because you actually you're just like, I'm, Yeah, you just made two and two cities. Yeah, that was ultimately maybe uh, a mistake. I don't know. No, I... I it's a I butterfly kind of effect. If open, I didn't yeah. do that, then maybe you would have built here and then done this somewhere else. Like, yeah. wow. I felt like I had to do this as opposed to going somewhere else, which it didn't give me enough marble to then do this sooner, so... Right. It is, yeah, butterfly effect is a great way to put it. Okay. Well, you just spent, what was that, six marble? Yeah. And you just got 11, so you have 5 plus whatever you had before. So I'm just sitting here thinking, if I don't do this, then will you do it? Mm -hmm. And then get two more rings. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mm -hmm. So this is probably going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. Is it inevitable? Should I be the one to actually pull on that? Maybe? I love like the audience at home right now. They know how much marble we each have. <laughs> I so know, right? Like, this moment of their, like... <laughs> yeah, I think... I think you had five more that cost. So if you had five behind your screen before I did the quarry action, you could do that again. And I just don't see you not doing it. It's very good for me. Ah, screw it. All right, fine. I talked myself into it. <laughs> uh, this is giving you so many points, but again, you're probably going to do it anyway. And so this way I'm at least equalizing up on the rings. Does it make it better or worse for you to know that I actually couldn't have done it? <laughs> you're the worst. You're the worst. <laughs> the thing is, it probably would have happened at some point. It would have. Relatively it, soon. It would have. It would have. But you actually spending so much marble on that, I, I'm ha like, now Now I'm hoping you're going to be poorer for some other stuff. So. Yeah. Um, if you hadn't have done it, I would have had to try to get marble, um, a little bit of marble elsewhere. So, um, oh, great. Excellent. Yeah. No, no, no. It was the two rings, because now we're now yeah. we're evil. I mean, that is significant, but... Um, yeah. Someone was going to have to do it. I got to say, I am currently worried about my prospects for my final score at this point. This is just, like, being able to double score that is just so good. It's really good. All right. I think I know what I'm going to do here. Okay. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to build. It's funny. We've done, like, all of the other actions. We really haven't done just the straight, yeah. you know, villages right now. So I'm going to spend two, and I'm, like, going to my pieces here. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I I have this premonition that you're going to destroy me in this <laughs> game suddenly. Uh, building another city. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Um, I do want to build. I'm just thinking about where. All right. Uh, I'm going to spend one marble for very strategic reasons, I can assure you. Uh, and I'll put it right over here. And now I'm going to quarry. Okay. So I'll get three marble, and you are going to get seven. This is awful. If I, <laughs> I mean, obviously I did not have enough marble to build next to one of these. Uh, I feel like the ra the wheels are coming off of this train here. Well, we'll see. I'm going to pull from here. That is a seven. Wow. So that is going to go on top of something, and I guess I may as well put it on top of this one. All right. So that's one pull. Second pole is a 40. Oh. <laughs> so that goes right there. Okay. Uh, uh, I got two more. Um, you're right. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Because we only stop once we we've done two or under. we make a so new you gotta one. Draw, you got to draw one or two. Nine. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to close now? I don't know. This is so weird. It is weird. Uh, I think I go here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we play this game, it, 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 it goes quite differently. So that's new. Uh, so that's going to close... Okay, so that's going to go here. Yep. That's going to go there. That closes this that you just built next to. Yep. That's you still paid two and got yeah, four out of it, it though. Came out. And then this will obviously go over there. Okay, obviously. And, uh, geez, I don't know. This is still bad. No, but the tempo is really interesting here because I have 
you know, I made a ton of marble, but now I'm making almost none. So, like, I have to be very efficient. We're making the same amount, though. I don't that know. Is, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're both making the same amount of none. Yeah, but I'm nowhere close to this. You're and... right. But also, we have to go underneath the eight to even make that turn on. And we've already seen the four. We've seen the three. We've seen several of those yeah, already. Yeah, like, you taped this four when, in one no, move. I know. I know. I know. So I know. We'll see. We'll see. And it's true. One nice thing is you can place anywhere. So I could just throw a house down over there yeah. if I wanted to. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, that, that does change things slightly, but not crazily. Okay. I am I'm going to build another house. And... Oh, my gosh. Oh, right. I am really regretting that now. I didn't realize it was going to... I didn't quite do my math right. I didn't realize it was going to put me down to one marble instead of two. Like, that difference is enormous for being able to afford the coast or the interior. Right. And uh, that... Uh, that probably going to cost me the game. I don't know. We'll see. All right. I'm going to go... I'm going to go here. All right. If that makes sense. I'm definitely building... Oh man. Rings are worth points at the end of the game too. So there They are, they are, some... but but the tempo of of the blockitude and Yeah. Ugh. Well, get up in here. Get 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 connected. I <laughs> Believe me, I know. <laughs> that actually is a good point. I almost should have built here to try and block you. Right. But I didn't think of that. So, it's a it's a choice between protecting my own access versus yours, like Right. Right, right, right. So that that is a really interesting push and pull. Like, do you take defensive moves or do you take moves that help you? It's, I, I mean, I love it, but. Yeah. Also, in retrospect, when thinking back to my last quarry action, maybe I should have just taken three free marble. I took three marble from the quarry action total. Right. And uh, you but got you more. But you did squash that. Though. I did. That is true. Yeah. Beachfront property here, John. I know. Beachfront property. I know. I mean, ultimately, I need to get more income. <laughs> my marble situation is really bad um so i could go over there or i could go over there i mean making a big city is nice but i think this i, I just need to make more marble uh, my income has been a real problem for me so i will go over there all right you're up i am up and i think i'm going to query <laughs> <laughs> so okay. now i get seven yeah. which is a lot better than three last time i'll get three sorry Alright. And now we do the pulls. Oops. The first one is 37. Oh boy. Uh, so it is going to go right over that 18. There. Yep. Next one is a 15. Oh. So that immediately squashes my beautiful eight. <laughs> the third one is 28. Also squashes. Which also squashes this. Man, this is brutal. And then the last one is 35. Um, Which also... Holy cow. <laughs> okay, well, that did not go the way I had hoped it would. <laughs> All right, back to you. This is probably going to open up real soon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. But the thing is, that could open up with, like, a freaking 31. <laughs> yeah. No, because we've seen so many low numbers. Like, yeah. It's very... The income is very variable. All right. I'm going to go here. I'm yeah. just building houses. I, don't... I mean, that's that's important. It is funny. One of the critiques of this game is that it can be a little mean. And um, I love John, but I'm not playing with, like, I'm <laughs> playing with my gloves off here. No, that's the way you should do it, right? Yeah, no. I mean, and that's, a, and that's it's a tactical spatial that game. That is generally like, how we play these games. If you play this game nice, it'll be boring. No, yeah, that's the thing. You kind of just have to be like, okay, how can I be as, uh, <laughs> as brutal, It's really tight. Brutal as possible. I know. Well... Okay, so let me pay my two marble, because I'm definitely going inland here. I think I got to do this. Yeah. The truth is, it's not... Yeah, no, I think I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Um, I am definitely going to build. I mean, I think that we've moved past it. I obviously want, would have gone there and there yeah. if I could have afforded it. I had yeah. three marble. Yeah. So, uh, again, that's why I feel like that was a huge miscalculation, realizing it brought me down to one marble instead of two. Right. Because that was, again, like, obviously, the tempo situation, I could have built there for two and there. For, if I had the four marble, it wouldn't have been a, a, a question. I would have done it in a heartbeat. Yeah. But, um, but I couldn't, and that's why I just decided to go over there, because I knew that this was uh, as good as done. Um, and considering that's nine points twice, 
I'm not really sure I'm going to come back from that, but there, I'll try. There is this interesting, like, trap situation here, too, where you can see that there's a move that's so good for your opponent, and so you feel compelled, like yeah. you did, to get in there and yeah. stop them. I guess I should have just let you spend that marble and, like, take the ring lead. Either yeah. way, uh, either way, I'm going to go over here. It'll just yeah. cost me one, um, because, yeah, that will very likely open up soon. Um, and now, again, hard decisions. And part of me wants to just take three marble. That seems like the uh, go-to thing. Yeah. Part of me also wants to add a couple pillars into this temple to make that city score better. But that would cost four marble. I think I'm just going to take marble. That'll be three. And then last action of the round. All right, I'm going to do something I may regret because it's going to make me make me pretty poor. Good. Um, statue? Statue. Yeah. Yep, right next to both of your cities. So that's six points right there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And it cuts your access off to that. I mean, I knew that that wasn't happening. It, it, on that turn where I had three instead of four, I knew that this was never going to happen. Yeah. Like, th there's no way you would actually let me make that, uh, get to that point. But, and, uh, you know, that's on me for spending that marble. Yeah. I'm going to do it like... That works. That looks better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, that is the round. So yeah. you get to go first. And this is the last round, so we actually each lose a disc, Yes. Right? We, uh, so, an action token. An yeah. action token. Yeah. So. We just remove those from the game, and we only have five. Which means we will only do uh, ten instead of twelve out of these thirteen. Right. So it's not as much of a given that, like, just about all of them will actually happen. Yeah, and then that goes back. Yeah, okay. So... Yeah. What am I going to do now? It's really not great for me to quarry at the moment, is it? I mean, it's not very good for me either, though. I get two to your one. I know. It's not good for you either. <laughs> but then, interestingly, like, it might open up more for you. So. I mean, it's virtually guaranteed to. <laughs> it's really, like, man, Marble is... Marvel is tight. In right this now. game, like in the last game we played, I feel like in some games of this, Marvel is flowing like crazy and you just have more than you could ever spend. This has been a really tight game. Yeah. Just based off of the draw of these quarries, which is, you know, a big compelling part. Obviously, some people aren't going to like the randomness of this, but um, it, <laughs> overall, I quite like it, even though in the heat of the moment, a couple times it's just like, are you kidding me? Yeah, it's so <laughs> funny because I don't have enough Marvel to, I can see my path so clearly and I don't have enough Marvel to pull it off. Yeah. And that is, that is difficult, not going to lie. Um, so I may stall out here in my own. All right, I'm going to take, I'm honestly, I'm going to take three marble. Yeah. Because it doesn't make sense for me to quarry. Yep. that makes sense it to me. It makes more sense for you to quarry because you're getting two. We're both getting two, but at least you are, the potential of you opening up more quarrying for you is very high. Yeah. So I don't necessarily want to do that right now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you make the difficult choice now. I mean, I'm honestly trying to find a way to leverage things back. Mm -hmm. I'd like this to be close. <laughs> I don't think it looks very close right now. Each one of these cities is scoring better than, than that one even. That can change quickly, of course. Yeah, it can change quickly. But there's six open spots, so I can't just snipe it. Also, those are expensive, and I suspect we are both incredibly poor right now. Open up some new minds, John. <laughs> Part of me feels like I should, I mean, to get that going. Yeah, although that really only had benefits you. But, but part yeah. of me also feels like I need to, to, to capitalize on this double play. Yeah. I'm just looking around trying to figure out what I would do with it. Yeah. And there are certainly ideas yeah. that work. I'm not seeing anything that, like, blows my mind. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, like, I'm thinking like, this, just to say, screw it, I'll have a gigantic city, like, one point per token in yeah. your biggest city. Obviously, you are not currently having gigantic cities, but you could connect this up and then make that city pretty darn good. Yeah. Uh, so I could block that just to put, peel a couple points off. Like, I could build over from here, but I feel like this is kind of a dead-end area now. Yeah. You could also build... No, I'm helping you. <laughs> I did think about that. Yeah, I, was, I could also start something new over here and then try to temple next to it to double score off of that. Yeah. Um, that did occur to me. That did occur to me. It's this obviously is, a lot less good than an a eight double instead of a five this double. This is a perfect example of John and I playing games. We're playing super cutthroat, and then I'm like, here, look, this would help you. <laughs> as long as it doesn't screw me up, I'll help you. <laughs> so are you committing to this, or you're I not? I am 90% committing to okay. it. Okay. I'm just trying to, ch I mean, th that seems like the right call. I can afford it. I can do other things afterwards. It's like the most explosive move on the map. Yeah. So being in control of it feels good. Getting ready. Yeah. Pondering my choices. 
Yeah, I, I think I need to do this, um, and I think I do need to work towards a third city being a lot better than this crappy city down here play. So with that in mind, I, part of me feels like I could go there just to squeeze one measly marble out yeah. of this thing. <laughs> I mean, that's obviously the next one to close. Yeah. But that would give me a rebate. Yeah. Okay, I'll go there. Unless you want to be able to build a cheap, cheaper temple. That is true. That's a good point. That is a good point. Yeah, maybe I should do that. That is an altruistic advice. <laughs> I'm not actually trying to keep him away. So let's see. That. I'm gonna pay for the pay for that one for sure. But here's the thing: like, I don't actually need to put two of these over. Like, this is my biggest city over here. I should probably actually put this. Yeah, here. you could just put a temple, a temple, and then a palace boom, or whatever a palace. Yeah. yeah, and then boom, it's done. So yeah, I, that that makes more sense. This is probably gonna open. I imagine, um, and it adds one point at the end of the game. So cool, that is gonna cost me two more. I don't think I paid for the second one. And yeah. there we go. Okay, I'm gonna commit to two green, two forest spaces. Yeah. And I think, I think, I think, I think, oh, I had a plan. I had a plan, but now that plan is suspect at the moment. I mean, I definitely see some very good moves for you. Yeah. I think my plan was, well, I was going in here, mm -hmm. and now I'm like, what's happening? Okay, so the plan was, that city's going to close first. So I think I was thinking this. There's no way for me to, I can't connect to the statue again right. with another city, right? Because it's yeah. not, yeah. yeah. You're getting the max value out of yeah, that. Yeah, so my thinking is I'm trying to kind of connect over here a little bit. Um, so I think, I think. Oh, I'm sure, for a, for a third city. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that looks pretty good. I think that's probably my best. <laughs> Can either of us even afford another palace, though? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to talk about that right now. <laughs> All right, well, it's... Uh, that's my best move. You paid for those? I did, I paid Great. for those. Great, um, well, these are go. All right, I'm going to do the stupid quarry now because Yay! I need marble, so... I get a whopping two marble. Yep. And then you get a whopping one. Three. One, two, three. My bad. <laughs> you're right, you're right. You're Don't right. undersell my marble. Uh, <laughs> all right, now let's see Let's see how I draw here. Okay, so first a six. Well, that just uh, ends it. Wow. I'm down with that. Wow, yeah, you would be. I am be. super, you would super duper down with be that. down with that. Okay. And now... Wow, we have to draw. I think when we go back through this, we have to look. Did we draw, <laughs> like, three through ten? Like, <laughs> oh, my goodness. This really doesn't matter much now. It probably given, doesn't. But I'll put it. I'll put it over here. Okay. Uh, I'll put it over here. All right, all right, all right, all right. I have four more actions in this game. I guess maybe seven, depending on how sherry your actions are. Yeah. What are you gonna do, John? I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do. Okay. I think I have to pull the temple, the palace. Sorry, I don't know why I keep calling them temples. I think I have to pull the palace, and then as you so wonderfully suggested, that is a, you know, I said a that nice that, cheap spot. I said that was totally altruistic, but then you also could have, like, this would be not good for you at all. I, but, like, blocking me, I guess, could I did notice, uh, yeah, I did consider that briefly. It's, I mean... It's this really interesting thing. It's like Four extra points, and yeah, that, I don't know. No, I mean, the four points is real. It, no, I think... But you're right, that would be, like, the worst palace in the world. But I could have not palaced. I could have done one of these to plunk that down there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have. I don't know. It's too late. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I mean, I could have maybe worked around it, maybe with just enough stuff, but it's an interesting balance because it, you have to ask yourself that, and I think it's best if you don't overly calculate it, but it yeah. is, like, that thing of, like, do I do this? Do I do that? But then, like, I quarried, which helped you, just so I'd have enough marble yeah. so that when you did this, I could do it. So it, the whole way the follow actions work is, is yeah. cool. Anyway. Yeah, maybe I should have blocked that one, but either way. I don't know, but then now you have an opportunity to build a whole other city here. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Is it that only your biggest city scores one point? Yes. I can't remember. Okay. Exactly. All right. Well, you're definitely going to have more points than so that. So part of me was thinking, uh, wondering if you were going to not do another one of these and just make a Mondo City over here? Yeah. I th when you had that double place, I fully expected you to do this, to just yeah. make this connect up. But uh, this works as well. I don't know. 
it's it that would have been the play, right? If you had blocked me here, right? Yeah. Because then I would have been like, okay, let's just connect. I would have denied you four points. Yeah. And then thrown a a, a house into the middle of nowhere, which right. maybe I need. I don't know. We'll but see. This one also gives me. It's actually nine for these two. I mean, this would have. But gone you would have gotten out. these points anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just these extra four. So I don't know. It's a balance. I'm going with the. Either way, your cities point. are freaking great, and I am <laughs> jelly, and it's your go. Oh wow! Okay, it's my go. Wow, what do I want to do? Oh boy, what do I want to do? Um, now I am counting the things in my city. I'm like, okay, six, six, okay, let's see. What do we want to do here? Um, I kind of played out. Uh, I guess I'll go here. One marble. I guess I'll throw this down here. Okay. I don't know if I, I mean, I get, well, maybe I should throw it over here. It's funny, it's one point for me to do that mm -hmm. but this would give me more marble when you inevitably quarry which i could then use to do something else mm -hmm. i guess i should do that i guess i'll do that okay you say when i inevitably quarry i mean you might not but might you're not. looking at eight marble on the board and i can't imagine you have that much left I do wonder how much you have. You have a follow action, by the way. Do you want to build? Oh, shoot. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, you want to build here? Yeah, I am seriously thinking about it. <laughs> and get 12 marble? I mean, marble is worth points at the end of the game. It so. is. It is. Um, let's see. I do that. The thing is, I just have so few actions left, right? I do that. Maybe I quarry, and then I have one action after that. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I think I'm certainly going to be following it'd be crazy not to follow right <sighs> i mean yeah this would be an extra two points that is for the moment four extra marble which could leave me more flexible to do some late game stuff if anybody quarries i just don't know if you are going to quarry or not that was a good play that was a good play if you had not done that my situation would definitely be different. Yeah, okay, I'll do this. I'll spend the two. Uh, I'll put that there. And then, and then yeah, I will quarry. I guess that leaves me with two more actions. So, cool. Quarry time. I get 12, 13, 14. Yeah, that was, that was bonkers <laughs> for you. Bonkers for you for the measly little marble over here. How much did you get? Four. Four. Wait, actually, four, five, six. Ooh, I forgot about these. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. actually, that was not... That was not the worst thing. Yeah, but it's not 14. All right, so now four more of these. Good We've job. got an 11, which just... Oh, doesn't end it. That no. goes on top of the six. That was one. Next up, we have a 31, which oh boy. goes on top of that as well. So, I mean, I, th I mean, there's At only one point, more quarry action yeah, for the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, after that, we've got a 13, which is under. So, yeah. that is going to go here. And then we'll close that one. And then I seriously doubt this will matter, but it'll go way over there. Yeah. <laughs> all righty. Back to you. Ooh. All right. Well, I got a little bit of marble now. What do I want to do with it? It really doesn't benefit me at all to build temples because it just helps you. Yeah. So I mean, I'm, ring majorities, right? But yeah, yeah, I guess we're tied for rings. But I think just building more. it's really just not worth it. I'm going to just build some more. Actually, I think I'll just do one. Um, there? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Just expand that city. Yeah, that's an extra point. Yeah, yeah. cheap. I'm very happy. Oh, I get to follow. Yeah. I get to follow. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'll follow. I'll put this there just because that essentially adds two points yeah. for me and now i'm very happy i've been working towards this for like five oh. turns i've been working towards this to make that happen oh, that's and i didn't really have the marble that's why i palaced when i did because i was worried if i if i did the statue first i wouldn't have enough to do the palace if you yeah. did the palace right after me yeah that's why i did such an early palace and then i figured i would try to work things into oh i'm so glad you didn't take that away from me <laughs> that's six points it does cost me uh what is that, seven marble? Yeah. But I just, in order to try and claw back again, I, I, I don't feel like I'm going to beat this, but I figured I needed to start getting some, some multipliers going there like that. So, whew. All right, that was my second to last action. All right. I think, I think I'm in a position where, just to be completely transparent, I only have enough marble to, I shouldn't tell you this, but I, don't, <laughs> I only have enough marble to do, like, I have to choose at this yeah. point. 
and I feel like I don't, I mean, although it's interesting, we each only have one action left, right? Yeah. So at most, we're going to tie on rings. So if I do this, then I essentially tie you on rings, and the ring is worth a point as opposed to the point Two I points had here. each ring. Two points each ring. Yeah. I guess that means I should do that as opposed to just build another city and give you a chance to build another, another make more points. So I guess I will do that. I will come here. Okay. I'll spend four marble. I'm going to build two pillars over here. Yeah. <laughs> so surprised. Which I guess gives you the option to connect to it, but I don't think that's what you're going to do. I will take one ring and then, I don't know, actually, you might close that off and still get uh, doing that. No, I can't. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. actually could. So... I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll You're going to stick with it? I'm going to stick with it. Okay. Well, I, I do not have 10 marble. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I think this is the right call. That is interesting. Yeah. Um, going there, if I did not have enough to... If I didn't have six marble, obviously that would be the play. But I have exactly six marble. <laughs> I have... Exactly. So that lets me put down three pillars. Uh, obviously, they will go here. That gets me the ring. That's really interesting. We tied on rings. Yeah. All right. So that goes there. I take a ring, and then the game is over. That's it. All right. Now we just do. So, do you have any marble back there? I have one. <laughs> one after all of that. All right. So, let's go through final scoring. We just go around the edge. So, first thing, let's score the largest city. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think is my largest yeah. city. Then we score the temples, which is terrifying. We'll do me first. <laughs> so this city gets me four plus uh, five, so that's nine. So I was at 11, so that's 20. And then this city gets me five more. And then this city gets me four more. And then you Let's see. Okay, score so a lot. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, I think it's going to even out here. But so this city will get nine. nine. So plus seven is 16. And then this city gets... They each do eight. They each get eight. So 16 more. 16. So 16 32. plus 17 is 32. Oh. Were you at 16 or are you at, you're oh, at you're 16? Right. Yeah, Sorry, 16. 32. Um, Ignore my math there. Very good. <laughs> no, no, I was just looking over. You're right. So I'm at 32. So look at that. It's actually a lot closer than I... And than now I... statues. So I get six, you get six. Yeah. So I was at... 29, uh, so 35, and you go 32 plus 6, 38. Wow, that statue was key for It you. was, and then rings. And then we're going to tie on rings. Tie. So 2468, <laughs> 10, plus uh, what even happens with, the, I mean, not that it matters in a two-player game, but what happens if we, don't, if we don't have the most rings? We probably just don't get it. Most rings. Neither of us has the most. So, so. yeah, so we each get uh, 10 points, so 35, 45. 38, 48. Oh, my gosh. And then marble. Wow. You win. That was a lot wow. closer than I thought it would I be. I know. I thought it would be because you know why? I was so terrified this of this. I mean, it was city. a good win. Good win. Yeah. I mean, like I said earlier on, three points could be important. You won by three points. Yeah. No. Seriously. <laughs> so, um, and it came down to this move. That's yeah. what's crazy is that if I had chosen not to do this, then you would have had three points for most rings plus two yeah. on me. Yeah, 100%. Like, so it's so funny. It's like it, it literally comes down to those like tiny little choices at the end where you're like, mm, maybe I build another city. Sure, I'll figure it out later. And it's like, no, that's a five point swing. Yeah, so. and a big part of it w was was this, like being able to yeah. get the double score on that that yeah, statue. This is huge. Um, yeah, wow. It shows you that Good you're game. not ever kind of out of it in this game. Like, yeah. Even when you're like, oh, I really thought that. I was. I thought I was. No. I thought I was getting smoked. <laughs> because because we all are jointly building the temples, and this was just sitting here, and it's only a few less. And for all you had to do was split up your stuff just a, a little bit. A very minimal uh, investment right there. Throw this down. There was no way I was getting Honestly, that. Honestly, <laughs> in retrospect, yeah, I, I didn't need this. No, you did, because you had to have it connected to Well, them. I could have done that. Oh, you're right. <laughs> and this could have been over there. Yeah. You know, or, yeah. or, or something else. Like that that could have been another point. I yeah, mean, who, one point. Who knows if I could have... I could have like been like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do something else, like lull you into false sense of security. And they're like, bam, palace. Yeah, seriously. Uh, but either way, I mean, this is only my third play. You've played this probably like seven times now, I bet, just because you played on Yukata a lot, Yeah, right? I can't really remember how many, you know, and you play it on there, and then like, yeah, I played a couple times on there. Although I have to admit, I played it on there before I really understood it. Sometimes I'll go on there and kind of like just play a game and Mess kind around. of like figure it out. Um, but yeah, this is our 
And we've played it every time together, right? So yeah, three times yeah. really playing it. Yeah. But it gets cooler to me each time we it play really it. It really does. It's just this very, it's, I mean, it's, this is what I love about board games. It's cardboard and, you know, pieces and wood and, and you just, and you just play them in this like little pattern and it's just. There's it's so many fun. cutthroat moves. Like I said, like earlier on, if I had four marble instead of three, yeah. I would, I would be there. Right. Like this, this would be blue, blue. Obviously, that'd be slightly different. And boom, that's eight more points no, that I would that's have. Huge. And then yeah. you would have obviously done something differently as well. Exactly. But but I mean, looking at that, if I had the one more marble there, maybe I would have won. Like that might have that probably would have been enough to equalize this, considering my advantage over there. Exactly. So ultimately, I do I do kind of feel like I lost the game on that gambit where I thought that you could go there. Maybe, but then if I had done it's a it, butterfly now, effect. I had nine marble at that moment. So <laughs> I, I was very close, but I couldn't do it. But I probably would have then done it. It would have happened at some point, then which I is why I figured. I would have had way more rings than you. You probably would have had plus one ring. Even plus one ring is plus five points. Exactly. And that's eight points right there. So, yeah, it's... You, know, you never know. Like, whew. yeah, it's crazy. But then would I put the statue here? Would I... Like, I don't... Like, you like you said... It's that's true. The statue made effect. sense because of that. And that's what makes it kind of beautiful. Is that you can't really go back and say, oh, this one... Every move is so... When we talk about, like, tactical versus strategic, it, it, that's why I actually like it as a two-player game, too, because you have just enough control yeah. that you're, like, going back and forth and all of this. And those that double move vibe that I mentioned before, like, it's kind of nice being able to be, you know, the back swing of your turn and then main swing of mine and then back for you and then main swing for you. And yeah. a three-player game, like, we played three players and I also really liked it. The board is one row bigger. Um, overall, it's tighter. Yeah. Uh, it, just Very in general. So, yeah. um, but... I can't help but feel like I might actually prefer this with two because yeah. of the, I really want to, say, want to say chaos, but having that third person, like you can kind of plan things out. Like I do this, they do that. Like this is almost chess-like. I mean, obviously there's a crap load of randomness, <laughs> yeah. so that makes it not very chess-like. But having that third person in there, doing another thing, trying to figure out what that second opponent is going to do is yeah. maybe more brain space. I, I certainly wouldn't say no to playing this with three more. I'm honestly curious to try this at four. I think oh, that would I be bonkers. Yeah, I Because, again, know. you only have 12 actions. Yeah. So in a three-player game, so in a two-player game, we had control half the time, six exactly. actions. In a three-player game, you only have four. In a four-player game, you only have control of three of these, and then in the last round of the game, you, you lose one. Yeah. So you only have two. <laughs> two. And then you're like, so you're constantly, I mean. That seems crazy we to me. We were talking about this. So, yeah, because we were talking about this. I think when we were reviewing Boom Late, we were talking about, like, other games that have action follow that the whole game is built around. And I couldn't right. think of any at the time. And that was before I discovered this or we discovered this. And like, Oh, it was you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you brought me into this. <laughs> well, before I discovered, before I made you play it, yeah. um, to justify my purchase of it. Um, I think that like that element of the follow, like in two player, it's got this very tense feeling of like, what are you going to do? And what what am I going to do that benefits you? What are you going to do? But I think in four players, which none of us have played, like, I do think that would be crazy. Because It'd be bonkers. You have no actions, but then you're constantly following everyone else's choices. So then yeah. you're, you're constantly doing stuff. And that's actually what makes the game so fun. Is well, also the shared incentives of these quarries. Like, yeah. you know, in a two-player game, you just, you just easily map that out. And obviously with three or four players, you could slightly less easily map that out. But you're probably going to have situations where you know, so and so is getting this much marble. They're getting that much. They're getting this much. You're getting this much. Who is your primary competitor? And as you can see, <laughs> there's no hidden. Um, well, the hidden information is marble, yeah. but there's functionally. It, this is a game state that you could just read. Yeah. Right. I mean, you said you play it on Yukata. It, it tracks your score. Yeah. As you're going, even, and obviously yeah. we aren't doing that. We could. Yeah. I mean, there's totally a world where we could just track our score ongoing if. We cared yeah. enough to do that, um, and I could definitely see analysis paralysis rabbit hole potential there. That's not fun for me. In <laughs> I don't mind it on, you know, like when you're playing turn-based online and yeah. that kind of stuff. I think it, it actually helps to just have know the state, but uh, that's not my jam with yeah. this kind of stuff. I don't, I like that there's a little bit of unknown. It creates more tension for yeah. me. And on, honestly, you know, the unknown of these quarries, I mean, I... This oh is God. what makes what the game. Is, this was mean? so freaking wacky. The this way is... we had very unexpected things happen with this the quarries. I want to see. Okay, so we had six come out. Like, what? The four. And then we pulled the three at we some point. We pulled the three. Right after I said it was unlikely <laughs> to yes. go under the four. It was like the next so tile. we had the three, the seven, the four, the six. We drew a lot of the low ones. And the eight. 
Like nine right there as well. The nine. Okay, so out of the first ten, we drew six of them. Although we honestly felt like more somehow. I mean, at the same time, we also drew the forty. Yeah. The thirty-nine. You know, the thirty-two, the thirty-five. We had some interesting. Thirty-seven, thirty-six, thirty-one. Yeah. So we almost. What's nuts about that is we actually drew more out of the final ten. You know, thirty to than the 40, initial. Than the initial ten. And that, but and one, we but, felt that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the last time we played this, it was um, you, me, and Nick. Yeah. And I remember I was rich in the first third of the game and then destitute for the last two rounds, and I I, I lost by a lot. Yeah. And you and Nick had, were just flush with money, uh, or marble, I guess, in this case. And this play was so interesting, the way we were both kind of flush and then not at the same time. You had a definite marble advantage early, but it was... Not huge. Yeah. It was like on the order of four to six, which can be significant. Yeah. But it never got into blowout territory, which it can as far as marble is concerned. In previous plays, we've seen situations where someone's like, cool, I get 15, and someone's like, I get two. And you're like, ooh, that's real bad for that other person, and that other person was me. It always (laughs) changes because – and I think this is one of those games where you kind of have to have the stomach for it. Like you and I like to play – these kind of cutthroat euros and yeah. that's like but you kind of have to have the stomach for it and that know that like you know i got a ton of marble at the beginning and then i started to get no marble and then by the end you're getting 14 marble that was a crazy like, swing I like investing nothing. in that yeah i mean did it like that's how i could afford the statue you saw i ended with literally zero this money one move going here so that i could get three marble and you making the choice to quarry so that yeah. i had enough to be able to pull this off to get that one ring yeah like you can talk about moves that like you know, were important. Were important when you're talking three points. Every like, move's important. Every move's important because I had one one marble. Like yeah. so, every choice. You know, even this like every decision that you make, and then it what the kind of. But there's also like no bad decisions. Like every one of these actions is good in some way. Yeah. Like they all kind of benefit, or or you get a side benefit. But it does come down to like you were saying, like you know, you didn't make any marble, and then suddenly you're overflowing in marble, and I had nothing. I barely had anything to do anything, and, and we've had that happen several times in the game. Um, you know, that the, the quarry part of this game, just, it controls everything. Yeah. So when you went here, remember I said, like, that yeah. was a really impactful move? Obviously, for the reasons you said, but also because in that moment, I had three marble, mm-hmm. and I was following. So if you had done your plan to go over here, then I would have, on the uh, follow, spent one to go there, and then for my main action, plunk down there to then to then fill this fill in, in. Yeah. to 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 get that going. And then when I in, but but then again, that would have been that was the turn that I ended up quarrying. Right, but no, but that would have been <laughs> huge because because you would have done that. Even that more would marble. Have been even more marble, know. and I would have had none. So then, like, yeah. it wouldn't have made no sense. For you me would have quarry. had the, you would have had to quarry. Yeah, Ma- I would have maybe? had to quarry. Maybe. I don't even know if you would have. And then I would have gotten like two, and you. Honestly, would have you probably 20. would have done one of these and done a null action or something. Exactly. I so, probably that was a you huge can play. just like take something and put it. Yeah. And it's amazing to me how when I'm playing this game, so many of those are like fly by the seat of my pants choices, where I'm like, okay, I don't know, that seems good, and yeah. then you look back on it, you're like. Oh, man, that was so consequential. It was huge, huge, yeah. But, you know, that's how these games work. And so this was super fun. Super fun. Thanks, Anastasia. Thanks, John. Good game. Good game. Good good win. (laughs) As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you, too, would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to johngetsgames.com slash support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.